Hello? Hello? Hello, Belle. Good afternoon. Can you hear me, Belle? Hello? Belle, can you answer me if you can hear me? Hello? Good afternoon, Linux. Linux, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Linux? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Let's wait for the other girls. Um, we will not. We will not have a two-hour class, but I will just uh, teach you where to do the uh, sketch up for the meantime since we're doing an online and uh, you don't have it in your computer for installation. So we will just use an online sketch up. Good afternoon, Mimi, Juni. I don't have a video because uh, it's kind of messy in here. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, York. Hello, Ploy. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Good afternoon, Ploy. Ploy, are you uh, in a car? Angie. Grace. Look at. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're waiting for the others. I hope that they can go online soon. We have uh, Prod, Bell, Ploy, Luked, Linux, Mimi, Grace, Angie, Junie, Yoke, and Pleng. If you have uh, access to your friends, kindly uh, message them that we're already online in Zoom. So we can do it fast again, even though this is a two hour class. We will just spend uh, like uh, 45 minutes to discuss SketchUp and where to do the SketchUp for the meantime since we're doing online class. Okay, 19 girls. Uh, 
uh, who is using the iPhone? Can you please rename your nickname? So I know who's uh, using it. Please rename the name who has the iPhone. Thank you. I think we're waiting for seven more, seven more girls. Uh, at one fifteen, if they're not here yet, we will start, we will start the class. Dow just joined. So last, last five girls, five more. Run, okay. Last four minutes and we will start the class. So please prepare. I hope that you are using your uh, desktop computer or your uh, laptop because we will have a tour on how to use SketchUp. And uh, I will show you where to access the SketchUp online. And we will be using it because we don't have or we don't have class face to face. So you need to do it by yourself for the meantime, since we're doing online class. Hmm. I think I cannot do it. I use my iPad. So um, if you you only use your iPad or tablet or your phone, please uh, pay attention and look carefully because you cannot practice it since you don't have your computer. But just watch. And afterwards, when you have your computer already, when you're at home, you can use it. You're, you can use your okay, computer, sure. Ploy. Okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, we're waiting for Mini. <coughs> Mini's not here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Who's number fourteen? Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Number nineteen, twenty, and number twenty-one. Uh, I hope they can join. Okay, I think we can start now. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is our online class, our first session with advanced computer. So you already know before that we have two hours class in computer, but right now we change, or the school changed the curriculum of computer. So we have the basic computer, which is one hour. 
And we have this advanced computer, which is two hours. So the advanced computer that we have will be um, uh, lessons about skills that is so you or that is advanced or you can use in the future. Okay. And for this term, we will learn about we will learn about SketchUp which is, I think you're all familiar with it. SketchUp is a 3D. SketchUp is a 3D software, which you can design and make your 3D models. And you already saw the example last time when we have our STEAM, our STEAM exhibition last term. So this time it's now your turn to know how to use this 3D software. And before that, I will discuss some things about the, the course. First is we have four units since this is 40 hours. The first unit will be about how SketchUp looks like, the tools, the interface, and how to control it. The unit two will be about the tools or the basic tools, how to use rectangle, circle, select, pencil, push, or pool and then the faces and the edges. Unit three will be groups and components because when you create a 3D, sometimes it will explode in different faces and uh, it will explode in different parts, but actually you can make it into a group so that um, when you uh, put it in a group, it will not be separated. You should be editing or you can move it all together. Next one will be the 3D warehouse, which is an online library of 3D designs that is available to be downloaded. Next will be editing materials and the scale. And in unit four is your final project. You will design your final project. So the things that we will need to do here in uh, SketchUp will be a floor plan. So you have your floor plan before with teacher Patrick and you all already designed it, you drew it. And we will make a 3D design of your floor plan, okay? Next will be the 3D building model, which is you will design the building that you um, uh, chose, for example, is the school building, any school building, or maybe a house that you can design. We will still talk about it next time. So all in all, this is four units, which is 40 hours total. And whenever we have our class online for the meantime, even though we have two hours, we will not maximize or we will not use all those two hours because I think it's very tiring for both of us, for all of us. So I will just discuss some things and you are feel free to explore it by yourself. Okay, so now let's go to SketchUp. Since we don't have a physical computer and we're not together to discuss things and I cannot show you properly how to do it, we will use an online website for SketchUp. And uh, we will visit that later on. What can we do with SketchUp? We can have a 3D model program. Um, it is connected to different Google products. Um, you can have a concept of modeling. Any 3D here, it could be houses, an anime, a cartoons, anything that is 3D. And what can you do with the model, you can insert it in Google Earth, or you can make sections from 3D models, or you can actually produce your own 3D, just like printing it when you have your 3D printer. Okay, what we will have in SketchUp and what we will learn will be the basic commands, how to apply materials, the components, put style shadows, and exporting some graphics or things that is available online that you can download and upload in your work. Insert your, okay, I discussed this earlier. Next will be, okay. 
so let's try now. Um, this is an example of a, a house that we did last year. And uh, later on, you will try to do your own house. This is the basic. Okay. And uh, I will just show you a video. And uh, you need to watch it and follow the instructions carefully so you can finish the house. But let's go to the SketchUp web website first. If you have your own computer, if you have your computer or your laptop with you right now, please go to this website, www.sketchup.com. Okay. Please go in this website. Can you tell me if you're already there? You can un unmute. You can unmute your microphone. Can you please go to this website, www.sketchup.com? Who's already there in that website? Me, teacher. Okay, very good. Me. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, I'm waiting for the other girls. Me, teacher. Okay, very good. Bell Me. is waiting. Okay. Me, teacher. Okay. All right. Bell, hello, Bell. Are you there already? Sorry, I didn't see your name. Why you're going in and out of uh, Google or, or of Zoom? Bell, can you please go to the website www.sketchup.com? This one. Please go to this website so we can access the uh, SketchUp. Now, this is the online um, uh, online SketchUp interface. So as long as you have an internet, you can go to this website and you can access the SketchUp. And we will do your activities in here or your projects for the meantime since we're not in school. And I will teach you how to create your file here. Okay, I think everyone is already there in this website. So once you go here, please select four personal projects. Please click that one. Okay. And Click this one and please use this one. We will just use the free one. Okay. We will use the free one and not the 30 day trial because this means that you need to pay afterwards. But free, you don't need to pay anything, but you can still use it. So start modeling. Click start modeling. Okay. And once you have this one, you just wait. Just wait for it to load. Okay, so um, I'm already logged in in the account. So just let me log out. Sorry. Wait a minute. Account. I will sign out. I will do it again. Uh, free, free one. And then if you have a problem, if you cannot follow it, you just feel free to tell me, okay? So do you have this one? Do you have this, do you have this uh, window with you? Yes? Anyone yes. can answer? Okay, thank you. So when you see this one, you will sign in with Google and you can use either your school email or your personal email. Okay, I think I will use my school email. Okay, then wait for it to load. All right, so this is how it looks like now. Me, I have a file here, if you will see, because I already taught the other class yesterday. 
So I have my file here. But if you don't have it's clear, that's just fine because you're new. So this is how it looks like. Okay. This is an online one. This is the home. Meaning when you go there, it's all about this one, the account. Do not click upgrade, meaning you need to buy it, actually. You need to pay it, but we're using free one. Trimble Connect is like the Google Drive where you will save your files in there. The 3D Warehouse is where you can search for things that is already made or a template. For example, I need a table on my house, my 3D house. So I just type table and I can download it there. And the location is, it's like a pin, a Google map, okay? So let's go to this home. So when you're going to create your file, of course, just as any other software, we create a new file and we just follow the this one. We can either use feet and in inches, millimeters or meters. So I think I can, we will use meters because we use meters here as the, as the measurement, okay? Uh, please just wait. And if I were you while you're watching, you can also try this at home, okay? If you have your laptop. And this is how it looks like, all right? So this is the uh, entity, meaning it's like uh, telling you um, how tall it is or the perspective of the, uh, perspective of the uh, uh, 3D, okay? And uh, this is, these are the uh, pa panels or the palettes. If you will see here on the upper left one, oh, look at when sign out okay okay so if you will see it on upper left one i'm sorry this is the opener model preferences just like the one that i said earlier there's a home and there is account so this one is the name this is where you can see the name of the file and the file extension of uh, SketchUp is .skp, all right? If you save it, it should be .skp, meaning it is a SketchUp file. It's a SketchUp project, just like Photoshop. Photoshop is PSD. Now, this one is SKP. This is the undo, the redo, and the save. Since this is online, there is um, uh, an automatic saving of the file. I think it's three minutes or five minutes. But if you want to make sure that your work is saved, of course, every time that you did do something after one minute, after two minutes, you can manually just click save. Okay. So this is the home panel. Next one is the toolbars is on the lower left. This one. Okay, so we only have few tools actually in SketchUp. We have the select tool. It's like the move tool in Photoshop. We have erase for erasing the lines or the faces. The paint bucket applies color to your 3D. Draw lines is where you can start to draw a line. Arcs is drawing circle. We can also draw shapes like triangle, square, or hexagon. You just need to put how many sides of shapes you want so you can modify it. Modify objects, this is how we will protrude or push and pull the 3D or your drawing to make it a 3D. Boolean is like... Um, uh, Minus um, putting the shape all together. Move objects is moving it from left to right, top to bottom, or wherever you want to put the 3D in certain location in your workplace. 
measuring tools is used when you want to measure how long or how many meters, millimeters the line is or your object is. Walk is like you're having a tour in your 3D and we have the camera controls. So these are the basic toolbars or basic tools in SketchUp. And some of it you're already familiar because it looks like it's the same like in Photoshop. Next one is the panel for um, designing it. So we have the these things, it's quite advanced and we will tackle it next time one by one. So I'm just giving you a preview. So this one is the entity info. This one is an entity. This one is called an entity. The outliner is like having an online of, uh, outline of your shapes or the 3D. In structure, when you click that, it will give you description on how to use a tool or what to do next. 3D warehouse is the online the online gallery of 3D designs that you can use, you can upload or you can download for your work. Components is putting up the things or the 3D together. Materials here, you can see uh, different themes and styles. Uh, styles like tiles, wood design, or it looks like it's a mirror. You can apply it with the styles. The tags is like naming or labeling it. Scenes, it's like a video. Um, and some other more, some are advanced. We're not yet familiar, but we will tackle it next time. So those are the things that you need to know. Oh, we have status bar here. This is the help tool. This is the help tool. This is the language. And the status, um, uh, what to do next is like the help one or what tool are you using? It will tell you there. And next one, lastly, will be the measurements. So every time that you are working on something, a line, a shape, or a 3D, it will give you the length here. Now this one says it's in inches, 12 feet, six inches. Or if you're using a meter, it will tell you meter. Or for example, you want to draw a line, and you want to draw a three meter line, then you just need to type here three and then make a line and automatically the line will adjust into three meters. Okay, so that's it. Okay, Re really ready to go? Yes, yep. Okay, do you have any questions? Do you have any questions so far? Do you have any questions, anyone? None? No one is answering? Oh, I think it's clear. You can ask me next time if you have a problem, okay? Um, so this is the rotate one. So if you will rotate it, you will see the 3D is rotating. And we have three lines here. We have this one, this, and this. So what is it all about? Um, those things, okay, are called the axis. If you are learning this one in science and also with math, you we have two axes. We have Y and we have the X, all right? We have vertical and we have the horizontal. But since we're working on a 3D, it will be three. So the axis of the origin is this one, which is, what is axis of origin? What is the coordinates for axis of origin? Anyone, can you answer me? It is zero comma, zero comma, no one is answering. Zero. Yeah, zero comma zero. So meaning that this is the starting point. This is where all the lines meet. Okay, so this is the axis of origin for our 3D space. Now, the next one will be the blue axis. 
the blue axis meaning it's the vertical or the Y, the Y one passing through your head and your feet, okay, going up. Then the red and green axis, the red meaning this is the plane, okay? So this is the X, but we have the green one, meaning it's the other side of the plane since we're doing a 3D, okay? That's why it's a 3D because we have one, two, three, three spaces, and it will create a 3D um, uh, 3D effect, okay? All right, so when we're working with a 3D, we need to understand that it's not a 2D, but rather we have the faces that will make it look like a 3D. Um, in working in 3D in SketchUp, we have edges. Oh, this meeting will end in 10 minutes. We have edges and lines, okay? These are the edges and we have the faces here, okay? So um, uh, in this activity, I said that I will not spend too long. I will send you a tutorial. I will send you a video where you can learn about how to make a house. Wait a minute, I will check it in my Facebook. Okay. I will send you a link of a tutorial and I will send it here in the chat. Okay, can you see it? Can you see my message? Yes. Okay, so this is a tutorial um, about how to create a house and I will share it with you. Um, feel free to do it at home, okay? So it will show you how to create a house like this, there, like that. So you can design your own. You need to just focus and listen carefully. Do it in a computer or in a laptop and design your own home. It is all instructed there. Now, just in case you don't understand, you can just repeat it or you can replay and play it again until you get how to do something, okay? Understand? Do you understand? Can someone answer me? Yes, yes. Yeah. okay. Okay, good. So for example, I will create a file or I will create a project here. Um, uh, if someone will ask, teacher, how will I send this to you? How, how will we will send it to you? Now, um, in here, there is a save file here. So you need to save it again. You need to save your file here. Click the file name. And then save it in here in the folder and put your file name here. So, for example, I will put M3181 Kyla and then save it. Save. And then it will be saved there. You see, it's already saved, saving. Now, once you finish saving, you can see download in here, download. And please download using 2018. Again, when you finish your house, click this one and download and click 2018 and click OK. Now it will download the file for you. Can you see it? It's in here. Yeah. Anyone? Yes. Yes. OK. So meaning that you downloaded your work. So this is the one the .skp, that is the one that you will send to me in Google Classroom. Okay, understand? Yes. Okay, so since our session is about to end, um, uh, I, 
feel free to explore it and watch the video and do it at home. You don't need to send it today. Rather, our deadline is until next week. So you can design it the whole week for you. I will send the example of a house that was made last year. So you have an idea on how to design your own house. Okay, Mai, understand? Yes. yes. Okay. okay, so this is our the end of our session. You can do it now or you can do it later. That's fine. So as long as you send it in the deadline. All right. Goodbye, girls. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. If you have Thank questions, you, please. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Please message me if you have some questions. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.